Hey everybody, welcome to C3Kids Online 45 edition. I'm Lisa and I'm the elementary director here at Community Christian Church in White Marsh, Maryland, where we are all about helping people find their way back to God. I'm so glad you've tuned in today because C3Kids Online 45 edition is the place for fourth and fifth graders to learn all about Jesus and how much he loves us. Here's what you can expect from our program today. You'll have the opportunity to connect with God and worship him while singing and dancing if you want. Then you'll hear a true story from the Bible during a fun and sometimes kind of crazy thing called the so-and-so show. You'll be given a key question at the end that you can reflect on and have conversations about all week long at home. Now, of course, I'm so glad you've joined online today, but I'd love to invite you to come to an in-person service. We've got a program designed with you in mind. It's a super fun place for fourth and fifth graders to meet other kids their age, connect in a small group, and learn all about Jesus and how to best follow Him. If you want to come to an in-person service, head to our website, communitycc.net, where you can find all the details and you can even pre-register for your visit. Well, your countdown's on its way, so let's get started with C-Theory Kids Online 45 edition. When was the last time that something good turned into too much of a good thing? Maybe on your birthday, mom let you eat all the ice cream you wanted, but afterward, your stomach didn't feel so good. It could be you got an awesome new game, but you couldn't stop playing even after lights out, and the next morning, you could barely get out of bed. Or maybe you love to make your friends laugh. What gives you the power to walk through walls? A door! <laughs> but you can't stop doing silly things in class, so you get in trouble with the teacher. God has given us so many good gifts to enjoy and good things to do, but even the tastiest food or most fun activity can cause trouble if you don't know when to stop. And just knowing what's best isn't enough. You have to actually do it. Choose against one more scoop. Put down the game. Truth is, none of us are good at showing self-control on our own. We need help. But here's the good news. Self-control is a gift of God's Holy Spirit. When we ask God for help and choose to keep walking with Jesus, it becomes easier to make the wise choice. To say no when a good thing becomes too much. When you can tell God, I will remember that your way is better and you live it out, others can see God at work in you. That's why self-control is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. You're the way, the truth, the life. Jesus, show me how to choose what's right. When my feelings just aren't on my side. I know that you help me every time You are the goodness that lights up my life I will remember that your way is better You are the one that still shows me what's right I will remember that your way is better La 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 You show me what's right and which way La 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 You show me 
Jesus, you're my reason. Help me follow you, trust you with my feelings. Jesus, you're my reason. Gotta be follow you. you are the Contestants, time to reveal your answers! Brandon wins! Oh man! Did you even hear the question? Question? I'm Brandon. I'm John, and welcome to the So and So Show. Yeah, it's the start of a brand new month here on the show, and we are very excited. Yep, new months are like trying a new type of homemade pie: apple, pecan, rhubarb. <laughs> apple, and more yeah, pecan. Yeah, because rhubarb, with pie, pecan, you know you're gonna like it regardless. Uh, but the new flavor is gonna surprise you and expand your horizons, just like each new month on the show. Exactly. Do you wanna get some pie right no. now? No! Why? Because we have company. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Ready or not, I'm here. Hey, hey come on welcome, in. welcome. We are welcome. totally ready for you. Welcome to the show. Please tell Thanks. us who you are and what you do. Well, my name is Austin, and I'm an expert at competing in game shows. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I guess you know a lot of trivia, then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? Uh, ooh, Kathy Bates. Marie Curie. Yep. In what year did the internet open to the public? Uh, 1920. 1993. Yes, oh, impressive. Wow. <laughs> in, uh, though I was sort of hoping you'd say you do some of those, you know, intense obstacle course game shows. Oh, psh, I can do that too. Whoa, oh, multi-talented. <sighs> Gotta stay in shape for those. <laughs> if you wanna be on the game show, they are no joke. Uh, do you have one coming up? Well, you never know when they'll call, but if you want a serious chance at being on the show, you must stay prepared. Wow. Yep. The key to winning the game is to stay ahead of the game. Don't tell me you also do singing competitions. <laughs> well, why not? Oh. Do I love to sing? Yes. Do I love to compete? Yes. <laughs> That is so cool. Yeah, so tell us, what's the best experience that you've ever had on a game show? On a game show? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, this one time when I was nine, I got to be on the live audience of Who Wishes to Have Riches. Whoa! Oh man, I still remember the excitement in the air. My aunt told me she even spotted me on TV, clapping for a couple seconds! Ah! Oh, it was incredible. Huh. Um. So, have you ever been a contestant on a game show? Me? Yeah. Oh no, um, not yet. Oh. <laughs> but I will be. And when I get that call, I'm gonna be ready. Oh, so we, we thought that you had already been on these game shows. Nope. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> $350. Oh, you know what? That's the exact price of the desk. 
85 cents. Oh, spot on. Well, I am impressed. Yeah. And it takes a lot of courage and determination to make a dream like that a reality. Woo, you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow you for a minute? Sure. Whoa. I've always wanted to be a game show contestant ever since the day I was nine. It might sound crazy, but the more I prepare and practice, the more excited I get. It's so fun to develop the different skills I might need. There are loads of shows out there. I'm bound to get picked by one someday. Bravo! Thanks! Oh. Oh. Oh, probably my dad calling. He's my trainer and number one fan. Unknown number. Hello and hiya. Are you serious? Yes, I'll be there. I'm on my way right now. Ah! That was Who Wishes to Have Riches? No. Musical edition. My ultimate dream show. You answer trivia questions in the form of singing while performing dance routines. And I just got a spot as a contestant! Oh. Ah! Congratulations! <laughs> oh, well, thanks so much for helping me train today. I gotta go! <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> It's Bible story time with Kellen. Wow! Wow! <laughs>Kellen, how's it going? Wow! Great! Are you guys up for a little Bible story? We are prepared and ready, Kellen. Oh, that's great, because today's Bible story is all about being ready. You can read this story for yourself in the book of Luke and in the book of Matthew. All right. Jesus had a cousin named John who was baptizing people in the Jordan River. One day, Jesus himself came to get baptized. And when he came up from the water, the Holy Spirit rested on him and God spoke from heaven saying, you are my son and I love you. I am very pleased with you. How amazing is that? Then the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert. And to find out what happened while Jesus was there, we have Laundry a Theater. Jesus spent 40 days and nights in the desert, and the entire time, he didn't eat any food. By the end of that time, he was pretty hungry. Right then, the devil showed up. The devil said to Jesus, if you are the son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus was hungry, and bread would have tasted really good right then. But he knew the devil was an evil trickster, so he thought back to a scripture he'd been learning his whole life, and he replied, It is written, man must not live only on bread. Now remember, Jesus was the Son of God. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. If he wanted to, he could have totally turned that rock into a delicious loaf of bread but Jesus refused to follow the devil's lead over God's. Next, the devil led Jesus to a high place. Instantly, he showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. The devil said, I will give you all their authority and glory. It has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Again, Jesus remembered a truth that he had learned in order to resist the devil. Jesus said, It is written, Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. After that, the devil led Jesus to Jerusalem. He had Jesus stand at the highest point on the temple. The devil said, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. And this time, the devil took it a step further. 
and tried to use Jesus' method against him. The devil quoted a verse from the book of Psalms. The devil said, It is written, The Lord will command his angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands. Then you won't trip over a stone. But Jesus was ready. Jesus answered, Scripture says, Do not test the Lord your God. Then the devil left. When the devil had gone, angels came and took care of Jesus. The devil tempted Jesus to worship him. He tempted Jesus to prove himself. He even offered Jesus an easy way around God's plan for his life. But remember, Jesus was God's son, and the devil was questioning that truth. But Jesus refused all the devil's tricks and temptations. He had been studying God's word all his life. So when the time came, Jesus was prepared and had the self-control to do the right thing. The end. Wow. Jesus really did know a lot of scriptures. He had one ready to go for every situation. Yep, that's true. And he did all that after not eating for 40 days. I'm impressed. I start losing my mind when I'm hungry. That's true. <laughs> Jesus had God's word ready in his heart, and we can do the same thing today. Studying God's word, praying, and learning more about Jesus' life will help us all be ready to do the right thing in every situation. That's great advice. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Anytime. I don't know about you, John, but it would be hard for me to do the right thing without practice and preparation. Oh, yeah, totally. Me too. Brandon, how do you... You know what? Actually, never mind. I want to know everyone's answer. Oh. Reveal the question! Oh, how do you get ready? Get ready for what? For everything! Uh, actually, yeah, that's a great clarifying question. Yeah, because I, I, it really depends on the scenario. Yeah. Oh, for a pie eating contest, you get ready by eating a lot of pies and buying stretchy pants. Yes, and to get ready for the day, you might brush your teeth mm. or do a few stretches, mm -hmm. eat breakfast. Yeah. Uh, oh, and to get ready to do the right thing, we can read the Bible and memorize verses. And ask God to help us have self-control. Mm. There are all kinds of things you can do now to be ready when the time is right. Yeah. Talk it out, and we'll see you next week. I'm John. I'm Brandon, and this was The So-and-So so -and -so Show. That was a dissonance, oh, not, yeah, not harmony. Yeah. What is the distance from the Earth to the Sun? 93 million miles. The unicorn is the national animal of which country? Scotland, baby. What is the only food that can never go bad? Honey, honey, honey. Which country uses four billion miles of toilet paper a year? China. How many episodes are there of the so-and-so show? Um, um, uh, I don't know, how many? Oh, I, I, I actually don't know. I was just hoping one of y'all would tell me. <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, ha.